All those fees you're paying, Francis, mm -hmm. they add up quite nicely. Uh, Scotia Bank, in its latest quarter, made a profit of $2.07 billion for the full fiscal year. The bank earned eight and a quarter billion, up 12% from last year. These are record numbers, but they weren't as big as Bay Street was expecting. And as a result, Scotia Bank stock was actually down 2% on the day. And uh, that kind of held back the TSX, which fell 12 points. Wall Street, though, Francis, the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ, they all closed at record highs. Investors stateside brushed aside any concerns they may have had about the missile test in North Korea, focusing instead on U.S. Mm -hmm. tax reform today. So shoppers were busy clicking away on Cyber Monday. A record amount was spent online. Uh, what were people buying? I want to show you. First of all, we spent six. Everyone spent six point six billion on Cyber Monday. Huge number, up seventeen percent from last year. Uh, what were we buying? The Nintendo Switch, the video game system. I know someone who bought that and uh, spent a lot of money on it. Uh oh. I hope your your kids are. <laughs> it wasn't aren't. me, by the way. Okay, but, good. Yes. Thought you were going to give away uh, some no, secrets no. for Christmas. Uh, Super Mario Odyssey. That's a video game, Francis. That was mm -hmm. on the list. Apple AirPods, those wireless uh, headphones. The Roku, the streaming device. Sony PlayStation VR. And we also just got word that Apple sold a little more than. 6 million of its very expensive iPhone 10s just wow. yesterday alone. So despite that almost $1,000 price for the iPhone 10, it seems to be so far kind of a hot seller. Wow. I'm going to get you something online and I'm going to give it to you in well, the coming weeks. Well, that would be weeks. nice. I we'll don't need the reveal. very expensive iPhone 10, but, uh, you know, if Good, you want to spoil it, because I can't ahead. afford it. Okay, we're going to get you something nice. <laughs> so, uh, Richard, it was uh, nice this weekend. I went up and I put my Christmas lights up on the house. You know, it looks nice. Did you but, really? Uh, you went and got up on the roof? I do. I have a big ladder. I have multiple ladders at home, be by the way. got to be careful doing that now. It's all good. But it's dangerous uh, work. they're all lit. My house looks great. House looks wonderful. But what about my bill? Am I going to be paying a fortune in hydro? Have me over for some eggnog then, maybe, Francis. I want to check it out. Um, <laughs> what are you going to be paying? A lot. A uh, hundred of the incandescent bulbs, the C9s. Those are those big bulbous ones yeah. you typically have outside. 76 bucks for the Christmas season. This is based on about 45 days of use. That's a significant number. If you switch, though, to the LEDs. I did. Good. So, so those C9 LEDs. A hundred of them, too. So I'm going to be spending a buck. Just over a dollar. So big difference. If you want to save some money, do pick up some of those. LEDs. Um, as far as the minis are concerned, mm -hmm. the incandescents about seven bucks for the course of the holiday season compared to just 82 cents. Other tips, Francis, to save some money on your holiday light display. Invest in a timer and you can uh, have the lights come on maybe a little bit later in the evening when the hydro prices drop. Uh, they also say instead of plugging the lights into each other, if you plug them instead directly into an extension cord, you actually tend to save a little bit of power that way. Hmm. Okay, so uh, my calculation, I was adding it up. I'm probably in for about $3.18. You're a big spender when it comes to the holidays, Francis. I have a lot of lights. <laughs> <laughs> All LED. Okay, so a major shakeup in the restaurant biz today. It's a move that uh, unites roast beef sandwiches with chicken wings. Match made in heaven, if you <laughs> ask me. Uh, so uh, Arby's is buying Buffalo Wild Wings for $2.4 billion U.S. dollars. Now, both these chains, they do have locations here in the GTA, Francis, but they're uh, bigger in the States. Uh, Wild Wings has more than 1,200 locations. Arby's, known for its sandwiches, a little more than 3,300. And, you know, this is kind of the name of the game in the restaurant business now. Companies buying each other, merging, because people are eating out less, and they believe that has to do with, you know, the advent of Uber Eats. Mm -hmm. People love to order in now more than ever, and so we're seeing consolidation in the restaurant biz. Suddenly I'm hungry. I'm not sure why. Let's get a pound of hot and Could a we? pint. What do you think? Thank you. <laughs> so the Queen, uh, you know, we heard Adrian say that the Queen is actually paying for Harry's wedding. And a new report reveals exactly how much money she has. So she's not going to have a problem, is she? Well, she can no. afford it just fine. A new report finds the royal family are valued at $88 billion, uh, up $10 billion from last year. Uh, tangible assets total $33 billion, including, you know, jewels and real estate. The rest is intangible as far as what the monarchy means to the U.K. economy. Economy. By the way, the personal wealth of the Queen, believed to be 340 million British pounds, or about 582 million Canadian at today's exchange rate. So she can afford to throw a nice little wedding bash for Harry come May, I think. A little bit. A little Just wedding a little. at the cottage, you know. <laughs> in London, you know, they were betting. We're going to talk about bets uh -huh. in a second. Uh, before it was announced that it would be in London today, 
Toronto was a seven to one shot. Really? So some bettors were thinking maybe Toronto could have been the place for the wedding, but not the case. What else are they betting on? Yeah, this is interesting. So they're putting money down on everything as regards this royal wedding, Francis. Like, where will Harry have his bachelor party? Uh, Chelsea and in the London area, that's the favorite, nine to one. Kensington Palace, 11 to one. Las Vegas, a 13 mm. to one shot. Who's going to perform at the wedding? Elton John, two to one. Ed Sheeran, five to one. Toronto's Drake, a 30 to one bet. And will the Gallagher brothers reunite for the wedding? Probably. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I That's don't think so. They didn't reunite for the Manchester bombing. They're not going to do it for this. 200 to one shot for that. Um, will Megal, Meghan Merkel announce she's pregnant in 2018? Oh, definitely. I seven, think so. Yes, 7 to 10. So that's definitely an odds on type of bet. Mm -hmm. uh, who will Harry's best man be? His brother, William, a 2 to 1 shot. And look at that. <laughs> Richard. That's an outsider. I take a flyer on that. A dollar yeah. or two. You never know. It could pay off. You never know. We're tight, me and Harry. You never know. <laughs> were you in Vegas with him? Yeah, we were For partying up in the hotel suite. A little you know. bit of gambling back there? Yeah, a little bit of gambling. I didn't you see know. any of those pictures, and I'm thankful I didn't. Good, because what happens in Vegas should stay in Vegas, <laughs> especially when it comes to that. Thank you, Richard. Thanks. Okay. Adrian Goreal's up next.